imagine you walk into your child's elementary school, you enter the classroom and are confronted by this non-binary teacher and you wonder why she's so happy. All the pretty girls oh, there we go. Like this. Guess why she's so happy? If you didn't read the caption there, she is overjoyed because the little kids she's supposed to be teaching are confused about whether she's Martha or Arthur. I mean, why would that bring you so much joy? Now, we've brought you plenty of footage of lefty students acting unhinged on university campuses, but the academics are no better. Indeed, one could argue they are worse. They have indoctrinated their students, they've enabled and emboldened the worst elements, and now they're joining the protests, and a few of them are getting themselves arrested in hilarious ways. Watch this economics professor... Uh, from Emory University in Georgia, who was silly enough to hit a police officer, then refuses orders to get down, listen to her screaming, I'm a professor, I'm a professor, as she's put in handcuffs. Oh, it wasn't over yet. Now, I remind you, she is an economics professor. You'd think she'd have the good sense not to admit to assaulting the police officer, even as she's led away in handcuffs. Well, wrong, wrong. These are the simpletons that are determining how well a university student performs. I impulsively hit him on the head very lightly to get his attention. And they grabbed me, threw me to the ground and arrested me. Uh, guess what, lady? You can't impulsively or otherwise hit an officer on the head. You wanted his attention. You got it, Professor. Staying in Atlanta, it wasn't just that, Professor. Let's have a look at another one being led away in handcuffs. This one's a philosophy, Professor. She's very important, you know. You called them. Philosophy department office and tell them I've been arrested. Fill up philosophy department? Yes. Call the philosophy department office. Have I will. I will. What's your... Noel McAfee. I'm chair of the philosophy department. I got you. president elected... And one last one from Georgia. Watch and listen as this troublemaker is removed. You're hurting me! You're hurting me! Oh! 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 Help! Help! You're hurting me! You're hurting me! Listen to that soy boy shrieking there. Uh, incidentally, this is my new ringtone. Now, if you're going to hold lawless protests, then best you do it in places like, I don't know, New York or California, where that kind of behaviour, that lawlessness is tolerated. Do not try those tactics in red states like Georgia or Texas. Watch here as law enforcement move in to restore order at University of Texas. Even the Austin campus is not immune from law and order. Anyone who knows Texas knows Austin has been uh, slowly destroyed by the influx of Californians and uh, New Yorkers and people from other blue states. Uh, but gosh darn it, it's still Texas and order was restored. What happens when an attractive young woman invites people to get to know her better? Hi. Hi. I'm nice Noah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Noah. So, where are you from? Yes. I go to Colombia. No. Spain. Are you Sheikh? I'm actually from Israel. I'm going to stop this video now. Oh! 
Now, after the initial shock, many of those, not all of them, many of those who were perturbed about sitting down with an Israeli did soften their stance considerably. But only last week, that young lady, Noah Kokva, she's a former Miss Israel, was allegedly assaulted during a pro-Palestinian protest at Times Square. Let's have a look at that incident. Police have released an image of the man they wish to speak to about that uh, alleged assault. Now, let's lighten the mood with uh, some more champagne comedy from Australian duo Superwog. Were they white? No. Were they black? No, colour doesn't matter, you bigot. Were they fat? That's body shaming, sorry. What do they look like? A human. That's who you're getting from me, you pig. OK, witness says we're looking for an angry, bio-smelling, pink-haired dog with a nose ring over... Let's stay in Australia, Melbourne to be precise, and have a look at this interaction between a curious football fan who asks what a pro-Palestinian protest is all about. Watch how reasonable and peaceful the response is. Yeah, man, it's just... It's just... Yeah, look after yeah, him, bro. Yeah, you're number one. I don't know. I wouldn't know what was going on. Uh, Palestinians. Yeah, no. Yeah, 15,000 yeah. children have been killed. Yeah. And 35 people have been killed. Yeah, that's up. I agree, man. Oh, really? I just want to be... No, I... What I got no... I got no... Nah, here. 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 Who is it? Who? What are you saying? Nothing, bro. Too much to drink, you sure? No, mate. I'm not going to be melting off. No, I'll drop it right now. Are you Yeah, I am serious. What are you going to do? Yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Not women, you big tough man. Now, we've seen so-called progressives of all ages lose it, but are the next generation the most severely impacted by this uh, woke mind virus, also known as Marxism? Many fear that's the case, but not Tim Dillon. He sees a different phenomenon happening. He says the cool kids are rebelling. Yes, all like the cool kids now are unwoke, some of them are going back to Christianity because it's the only way to be rebellious. <laughs> because, you know, everybody's blue-haired, non-binary, talking about piss orgies. And that's like, <laughs> it's the cover of Newsweek. You you have to be like a Catholic, Opus Dei, like, doing sing the rosary to be a f problem. Like, you used to be able to just dye your hair and get a tattoo and a nose ring. Now that's like, oh, what are you running for Congress? <laughs> 